Iran's most controversial president came from the most uncontroversial beginnings. A blacksmith's son and a war veteran who became Iran's sixth president and a populist who became a pariah. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad leaves a country under pressure, both domestic and foreign. Analysts call his foreign policy approach antagonistic. Well, his foreign policy, as I indicated at the beginning, was on an uh, offensive approach rather than defensive one. And uh, also, instead of trying to solve problems with the Western power, and he declared uh, we should uh, get the support of Eastern power as well. His speeches were often fiery and inflammatory. Just in the same way as the Soviet Union disappeared and does not exist in today's world, very soon the Zionist regime will also disappear and mankind will be free. He failed to solve the nuclear dispute. Two of Iran's negotiators quit and there's been no breakthrough in a decade. Instead, Iran is under the toughest international sanctions in history. But his stance struck a chord with the Arab street, Africa and on America's doorstep. I'm sure this wave of revolution that covers all of Latin America will continue until it eradicates all the roots of imperialism. Ahmadinejad's administration opened more foreign embassies than any previous government. Domestically, he focused on improving the lives of the poor and removing subsidies that drained $100 billion a year from the government's budget but in part devalued Iran's currency by more than 70 percent in two years, creating higher inflation and unemployment. The president was almost impeached, and under his watch a $2.6 billion embezzlement case embroiled seven banks and his closest advisor. His cabinet too was pushed to the brink of collapse, and his relationship with the supreme leader suffered. But millions of Iranians will remember Ahmadinejad for the events of 2009. He won a second term under opposition claims of vote rigging and killings of protesters and mass arrests. But even after he leaves office, Ahmadinejad is not going very far. He still has to face court for his conduct in parliament and has even indicated he might run for president in four years. So only time will tell if this populist becomes popular once again. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.